Hey there, Libra. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of uh, November 28th. This week, definitely check out astrojar.com. Uh, a lot of the people from Astrojar, a lot of the readers, have sent me tons of emails, as I said in the past, thanking all of you for checking them out. So I really appreciate that. But let's see what comes up for you this week. Looks good right away. There we go. Yeah, very interesting. Um, <clears throat> You start off with the uh, the Jack of Hearts. So the Jack of Hearts is a great card of uh, an admirer, somebody who's interested in you coming in. So for those of you that are single and looking, this is a great card for um, potentially meeting somebody. A lot of you could potentially meet somebody through work, actually, it looks like. Um, so this is interesting. It would be somebody new, somebody that you haven't met yet, probably. Maybe for a small percentage of you, you have met them, but I think for most of you, probably not. For those not interested in love, who have, are, already have it. This is a great card for socializing this week and having fun. So definitely a week to have fun. It came up for a couple other signs as well that it's a great week to have fun, enjoy yourself, and, and things like that. Next, you have the Two of Diamonds. Great card for uh, money, more money coming in, and even getting a job if you don't have one and you've been looking, uh, or for matching up with a uh, financial situation perfectly, making more money, seeing more money coming in. Um, and it's also a great card for investments as well. So any of you who are investors or who uh, do real estate or anything like that. And uh, what else do we have here? Yeah, it could be a great week um, to make some sort of investment or think about it. And again, if you're retired, also a great week for looking at your finances, planning finances, and again, investing um, and investing your money and things like that. Next, some of you might be resistant to that investment. You have the Seven of Diamonds. You might not be sure or, um, some, or you know, you might not think you have the money or whatever. But um, this is a card of having fears around money, um, but mostly old fears, pulling on old fears, um, applying them to situations today because of, you know, something that happened 20 years ago. So definitely let those fears go. It's also a kind of a good card as well. It's a card of... You know, if there's something wrong with your car, it's a card of getting it fixed now so that it doesn't turn into something much bigger later. So it is a card of needing to spend money to um, make improvements on things that maybe, um, you know, uh, you can't really, maybe you don't really have the money necessarily, but you kind of do. But it would be, again, a lot cheaper to fix it now than it would be in the future. Same thing goes with your health. If your health is suffering or something, this is definitely a card of like, even if you have to spend money going to the doctor to get it taken care of now. Um before it turns into some, something much bigger later. Uh, next, you have the Ace of Diamonds, another really great money card, more money coming in. Also a great card for starting new things as well. Um, any new ideas you have, even relationships, uh, it's a great card for starting things under. And it's a, even a card of marriage, getting married, um, having m making commitments and things like that. But again, you would already be in a relationship if that was the case. It wouldn't be a, like a surprise or anything. So you would already know that something like this was about to happen or you would know that there could be some sort of co a commitment there. Also a card of innovation. So any of you who have like innovative business ideas or um, new ideas for pretty much anything, relationships, um, socializing, things like that, it is a card that says definitely try your new ideas. They could be very, very helpful for you and even profitable. Uh, for you as well. Um, usually this path is a little bit scary because it's something new that we have to start, but uh, very profitable as well. And finally, you have the Two of Clubs. A lot of signs are getting the Two of Clubs or the Two of Spades. Definitely a card of, you know, kind of like uh, like building yourself up, being self-motivated and motivating yourself to do things. Um, which you're probably going to have to do this week. You're probably going to have to motivate yourself to get a lot of stuff done. Um, but if you can do that, you could be very successful on the other side of this card. It's also a card of needing to not let other people change your mind. So again, if you have business ideas or anything like that, don't allow other people to influence your ideas and, and don't allow other people to make you like change your mind or anything like that with this card. But it looks like a great week, especially with that uh, Two of Diamonds and Ace of Diamonds. Really good cards there. So uh, thank you for watching and enjoy your week.